that's a bunch of Godzillas right there. As you know, if you follow me online, my son and I do engage in a bit of uh, Godzilla fandom. And it started several years ago thanks to an episode of Mystery Science Theater 3000. And we started watching the movies and he just grew to love it. His first ornament came in 2010. Uh, this Godzilla vs. Destoroya. Good old burning Godzilla. Very nicely sculpted. Lights all inside and of course good sound effects. A very nice first ornament. A couple years later, 2012, we got from Carlton also this original style Mecha Godzilla ornament. Light up eyes, light up flames. A very nice sculpt. A very good ornament. 2014, you'll note I'm not really a completist. I'm more about the quality than I am anything else. 2014, of course, we got the American, the so-called legendary Godzilla. This one does not light up. However, it does have uh, uh, sound effects. This ornament is from Hallmark, smaller than the others, but the detail is very nice, and uh, no lights though, but that's okay, maybe for the next one. Also in 2014, since it was the 60th anniversary, we have this magnificent, my favorite of the bunch, uh, original Godzilla, Gojira, if you will, ornament, with uh, the longest of all the, uh, the routines when you press the button. Also by Carlton. Again, my favorite of the bunch. 2015 gave us two from Carlton. A King Ghidorah and a uh, Showa era Godzilla. The Godzilla himself doesn't seem terribly impressive, but I guess they kind of work in tandem, sort of. sculpt on both. I'm not quite sure why there's a, a bit of light here when you press the button. I don't quite get that, but nonetheless, there you go. Would rather have had additional gravity beams coming from uh, Ghidorah's mouths. And an explosion on Godzilla. No light up atomic breath effect for him. Unfortunately, but still, again, well sculpted. This year's ornament. And this will be a gift for my son, so he has not yet seen this. New from Carlton is this Godzilla. Obviously a Millennium style Godzilla due to the purple uh, spikes and the shape of them on his spine. Uh, Sculpt-wise, I, I gotta tell you, I'm not terribly impressed. I mean, he, he looks okay. Doesn't look very much like the Millennium Godzilla. But, uh, I mean, that's okay. Doesn't have to be perfect to hang on the Christmas tree. Let's see what the lighting sound effect and uh, light effect is.
and that's it. A couple of uh, blue LEDs at his feet that uh, shine up at him. That's all. I mean, I guess there's really only so many ways you can light up a Godzilla figure, but um, I'm I'm kind of uh, disappointed with this one. Had I, I I kind of bought this one on uh, on Reflex, and I'm thinking if I had uh, seen it in person or seen a video of it in action doing as little as it does, I probably would not have bothered with it. But there you go. That's that's this year's Godzilla ornament.